next video on the different types of reactions brings us now to a different kind of displacement reaction which is called the metal displacement reaction so what's happening here is that one metal is displacing another and let me explain how that works so let's say we have a free metal in the solid form plus a metal that's attached to some ion uh, in an aqueous solution when you place the other metal in there this metal will now take this metal's place so they're both metals and now we have a bond between the ion in the aqueous solution and the new metal and the other metal will precipitate out as a solid why does it do that well again metals are part of a, a, a series of uh, elements where they're either more likely or less likely to donate electrons if they're more likely to donate electrons they're more likely to react with another ion and bond with it if they're less likely to donate electrons they will gladly give up their place and let the other metal do that bonding so here again we have what we call the activity series and notice things near the top are more likely to donate electrons things near the bottom are less likely to donate electrons so if a metal that's higher up on the list more likely to donate electrons comes along it will displace a metal that's already in the aqueous solution and bond into the ion that's lower on the list so let's see an example here let's say we have copper sulfate in an aqueous solution so what happens is if you then throw zinc in there let's look at copper and zinc on this activity list right here so copper is down here not very reactive and zinc is higher up on the list that's over here so zinc is more likely to donate electrons than copper is so what happens then is zinc will come along say hey to the sulfate ion I will more likely uh, I will more than be, be more than happy to donate electrons to you and so and sulfate says okay I'll take your uh, electrons rather than this one so copper is being shut out electrons are then being provided by the zinc ion and we then have copper precipitating out as a solid same when we have copper and silver now you say well copper is not very reactive but it's even more reactive than silver is so if you have a, a silver in a solution for example in the form of silver nitrate and you then add solid copper copper is more likely to donate electrons on silver it will take its place form the copper nitrate uh, combination in the aqueous solution and then silver will precipitate out so one way to get silver out of a solution that has silver nitrate in it is just dump any other metal in there that's more reactive and silver will simply precipitate out now what happens if you try to do it the other way around let's say you have uh, zinc sulfate in there in the solution and you throw copper in there then nothing will happen because copper is lower on the list than zinc so zinc is more likely to donate electrons to the ions in the solution and so copper is simply ignored and will stay there no reaction will take place same when you throw silver in a solution that has copper nitrate again there will not be any reaction because silver is lower on the activity list than copper so it's pretty straightforward now to get a, a good understanding of how this really works is if you take this this uh, chemical reaction here what's really happening is when you place copper sulfate in a solution where the copper and the sulfate is dissociated like that you'll end up with two ions like that and then you dump in the solid zinc in there and what happens is that this zinc metal will more likely give electrons away than than uh, copper so it will donate its electrons to copper copper will then precipitate out as a solid and then the zinc will become an ion so that's more like what's really happening so this is a simplified equation the true reaction in an aqueous solution like that is simply that the zinc will is more likely to uh, give the electrons away than copper is so it will donate its electron to copper copper will now become a an, an atom rather than an ion and precipitate out as a solid and zinc will now become an ion and remain in the aqueous solution as an ion and so that gives you a good feel you just have to have the aqueous solution so the transfer electrons can take place they of course will not take place when you have two metals sitting there side by side although you know given enough moisture and so forth in the atmosphere you could have some reaction like that occurring in a more natural state but in a in a aqueous solution it will readily happen so hopefully that will help you understand the displacement reaction when metals displace one another in an aqueous solution.